big silver ball over there and the big blue building over there. Wait a minute, don't look at that, don't look at that. Don't, don't pretend it's not there. Pretend it's not there. Big silver ball. Good morning from Epcot. Good morning. Last full day, Thursday, December 8th? 8th, 9th. 9th? 9th. Time, it's meaningless. It's lost all semblance of time. That's why I'm wearing my time. Variant, time, what is it? Variant. Variant authority? Authority. Oh, I'm a, I'm a variant. Uh, yeah, so we get to really uh, <laughs> just kind of slow down because we did everything that we kind of wanted. Uh, we're showing up just slightly uh, late for the early opening, which is a half hour before. We still should be able to get on Soarin' pretty quickly. And then that's it. Then right, we've, we've done everything. Then we're relaxed. Then we're just going around the countries. We're sampling food. We have no uh, dining plans. No agenda. We hope to uh, stay awake for the fireworks, 9.45, but that's a, that's 11 hours in the park. So, we'll see. A half hour early. The line is listed now at 80 minutes. So here is where the line actually starts, all, all the way back here. And uh, living with the land has got a 20 minute wait. So, we're not doing that, because uh, we're not doing that. So we were just in line. It said 30 minutes for the seas. Our app said five minutes, but then we just kind of got to a dead stop. We turned around, and got out of the line because a lot of people don't know this. You can just go in through the exit and basically get to where the aquariums are, which is and turtle talk. Yeah, and turtle talk. So right after the five minute Omni Mover ride of you seeing fish, you get to go see more fish. So. Just going through the exit if there's a line because the ride is not worth it. And so here we are going for a turtle talk, which is uh, adorable. Totally tubular. You're not fooling anyone. We know you're not part of this. Using our DVC membership, we're going to go up in the DVC lounge, grab ourselves a drink, possibly a snack if they've got something. Last time it was salt and vinegar potato chips. I, I like, you know, when my, my potato chips are the same flavor as sweaty feet. Yeah. So, we got Cheez Its today in a chewy bar. Much better. <laughs> Salt and vinegar. We got the old Epcot there. New Epcot over there. Oh, construction land. Be a few years. They got sidetracked uh, due to the pandemic and budget cuts, and it'll get done eventually. Overall, cheap, cheap dude. It'll get done eventually. But uh, it's supposed to be done by now, and I think they said late next year. We'll just see what happens. So, we haven't seen the Riviera yet. We're gonna go and walk around World Showcase, go out the back entrance, pick up the Skyliner, and hop that over to the Riviera. Oh, we got a Mary Poppins over there. Saying hello to people. We go. Whoa, they're not kidding with this thing. Welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner at Epcot International Gateway. Really We're flying to Disney's Riviera Resort with a final stop at Disney Caribbean Beach Resort. We hope you enjoyed your visit to Epcot and World Showcase. 
Did you learn how to say hello in a different language today? So we could stay here with our points, but uh, the rooms are pretty high in point value. The ones that aren't, they're not that many. And the Skyliner continues over to Hollywood Studios, so you can go to Epcot or Hollywood Studios by the Skyliner. It's just all high in points. Uh, look up, up top, we got some blow up um, Christmas decorations. See on oh. the top floor? Yeah. Ralph. Back on the wall, huh? Quite lovely. It's nice. Yeah. I don't know that we'll ever be able to stay here just because of the way the points are. Yeah, absolutely. It's just. And it, even if I mean, I don't think it's much more expensive than what we already have, but it's been hard to get because there's not a lot of studios. Sure. And it books up pretty quickly at the 11 month window. So we picked up the Olaf scavenger hunt. Always a fun thing to do <laughs> in the parks, especially if you've been here a lot. Did I say especially? Oh, you did. It's okay. No. I forgive you. Especially. Did you pick the right flavor? Peanut butter, chocolate. There's a lot of flavor happening. Nuts. Brioche. Chocolate sauce. Marissa found this one, a little tricky. Got kind of an orange and a cake. So this is the American booth. We got the uh, turkey stuffing, which is kind of like in a cake. Stuffing cake. Stuffing cake. Green beans, mashed potatoes, and we got the crinkle cook, which is supposed to be the best one. So yeah, we'll find out. So it wasn't it wasn't a tiny portion. I mean, no, it's no. got some had some heft to it. Mm -hmm. It's all very good. Turkey was very moist. I know you love that word, moist. Stuffing's great. Green beans, mashed potatoes, little scoops of potatoes here. <clears throat> good stuff. Very good. It's a new place this year. Marissa found them. Marissa just asked me, do I want that? I said, yes. Yes, I do. It's very good. Is it now? You'll hate it because the taste, I mean, like, it, it's like super coffee tasting. Yeah, I'm not super coffee. I'm good. Nice. Get punched in the face with the coffee. It's like coffee. extra coffee, yeah. But you got your frozen lemonade. I'm good. I also got really bad brain freeze right now. It's good. is on the lookout for an Olaf, but also trying not to be sucked into the Kringler. Oh, well, we're going in. So this is the barbacoa tamale, and this is the chorizo uh, tostada. So, muy caliente. Es bueno. Oh, spicy. I'm sorry. And so far, the corn is wonderful. I think that was the masa. I haven't got any barbacoa yet. 
Okay, here we go. It's everything I love. Oh, creation, she'll always be mouse cures to me. I'm, I'm, I'm looking right at her. I don't know how to feel now. I think I just committed a crime. Shame. Shame. We're that couple now where we have to sit down every once in a while. It's the bench rod, it's my favorite. It's great. It's 4.25 right now and... Uh, We've been here since 10.30. 10.30, so we did. And we're still here till potentially 10 o'clock. Till 10 o'clock, so hells yeah, we're gonna sit down. We gotta, we gotta pace ourselves. So Marissa's getting video of Goofy and Pluto over here. You got to meet two superstars, That's huh? right, she, we got to see Pluto and Goofy. Very exciting. But she says we still have to go find her Donald and Daisy. Maybe tomorrow we'll, we'll do our best. We'll try. Or maybe later, I'll keep looking for them. Welcome to Ladies and gentlemen, our time travels have been momentarily delayed. Please remain seated. Your time machine vehicle will begin moving again at any moment. Please remain seated. This is one of my favorite shots. Right here, by the trees. But this is my favorite shot. This girl, right here. This one. So we're going back on the store. If smaller aviators don't measure up to the height indicator on the seat, let's put the belt through the loop in the center strap before buckling. That's worked out. All the years I've never tried maple popcorn. So I'm trying maple popcorn. Tastes like caramel corn. Like no difference. Okay, ta-da. Can we redeem our map here? So we have one prize here currently. Okay. Which is the lanyard pouch. Oh, I'll take a lanyard pouch. Um, if you like that, then we go ahead and mark it as redeemed. If you want to see what the other redemption locations have, you can check and see and look at what they've got. Well, this would be good. I can just put my uh, ID, my work ID. Yeah. There you can go. I do that? Okay. <laughs> that would be Let awesome. Let me mark this for you. Do you want to hang on to the map as a souvenir? Sure. Yeah. What happened? Everything used to be shopping. It used to be like a whole, this was all shopping back here. <laughs> So Marissa logged onto the app exactly at one o'clock and got us a uh, virtual queue. And here it is at seven o'clock that we get to ride. So we're here at the American Adventure and uh, yeah, we're gonna watch the American Adventure. But they're loading through the exit. Kind of unusual. But. And of course, we're getting a school bread and a cookie again because we love it.
hotel and what a lovely last day, last full day, but we still have half a day, well, to be fair, two or three hours at the Magic Kingdom. But that's what's great about being at Bay Lake Tower is we can walk to the Magic Kingdom, have ourselves a grand old time, pack the car, right, uh, and then come out and drive home. Harmonious was great. Uh, a lot of people didn't like the barges, other oh, eyesores. I never noticed them, to be honest with you. Um, in the middle of the lake, really. So I don't know what people are talking about. It, it's no worse than the globe being there half the time. The fireworks ended at 10, back in the room by 10.30-ish. Pays to have a car, I'll tell you. <laughs> Though we may have ran over somebody leaving, you know, I don't know. It's But that's their problem, not mine, right? It is a uh, Christmas party still at Magic Kingdom. That means fireworks at 11.15, so we get to have another fireworks show. And you can't sleep through that, I'll be honest with you, because, I mean, it's it's loud. It's right, I mean, it's right next door. It's, it's out our window. It's just, so we're staying up. We don't have a choice. So <laughs> we'll be a little tired, because this was a long day, right? Uh, we were in the parks at roughly 10.30 a.m., and we stayed till 10 p.m., so we were there for, you know, Almost 12 hours.